few weeks ago I made a video about why I pretty much wish I could quit the internet. I realized after I made that video that, you know, it's not about the internet itself that I get really aggravated and annoyed with all the time. It's the people on the internet, specific kinds of people on the internet, that I just wish were not on the internet anymore. So that's what we're talking about today because I just can't, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Number one, people who comment on articles without reading the actual article. Someone took the time to write that article. There is usually, hopefully, valuable information in that article. Who do you think you are commenting on an article with whatever your opinion is without even reading what it says? And I applaud those people who call those people out and say to them, write to them, whatever. Did you read the article? It's very obvious sometimes that people don't read articles and they just read headlines or they just read other people's comments and then they comment. If you're not gonna read the article, just leave it alone. You're really annoying. How can you form an opinion on something you haven't read? It's exactly why I'm reading Twilight right now. I can't form an opinion until I've read it all. I'm almost there. Almost done. Forever. Two? People who feel the need to give their expert opinion on everything. Unless you're an expert, I don't want to hear it. And if you are an expert, give me some science. Give me some background to what you're saying. A good journalist, if they are not an expert in a specific field that they're writing the article about, has credible sources within the article that give the expert opinion. Or they should. God, I hope they do. Honestly, unless you're seriously an expert, you really have no right to give advice to other people on anything. Number three, people who are offended by literally everything. Why are you offended by literally everything? What is wrong with you? You cannot be offended by everything. How are you alive? Does breathing air offend you? Your being offended offends me. Number four, people who only post things about themselves. Like, I post about myself, but I also post about things that are going on around me. I share articles that I have something to, you know, if I have something to say about them because everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Doesn't mean you have to share it all the time, but sometimes I do. I post about, I post a lot or I try to post about causes that I really care about because I care about them. They're important to me and I hope others in seeing that post will support those causes. I don't even like posting about myself. I have a blog, but I hate writing about myself. On my blog right now, if I write about myself, it is for the purpose of showing things to other people. I don't talk about my personal life that much. Sometimes on Facebook I do, but that's really, I feel like, sometimes what Facebook is for. And you can't always help it. But I know people who just, if they post anything online, it's about themselves. I don't care if your life is fabulous or horrible. You care about anyone but you. You're not the only person living in the world. And honestly, sometimes if it if it's just annoying, I just unfollow those people. Like how on Facebook you can be friends with someone but not look at their posts. I know a lot of people have probably done that to me, but for different reasons. Because I don't post about myself. I post, like, articles that I've written and people don't want to see that, which is fine with me. I don't care. But I don't. When I do post about my life, I don't expect anyone to comment on it. I just sometimes, for your own sanity, you just have to, but not all the time. Number five, people who can't spell things or use proper English grammar. First of all, this is America. Speak English. Write English. Correctly. Second of all, spell check. My, like, I use Chrome, it automatically spell checks things for you. And some people use the simplest language possible, and they still don't spell things right. Like, if you use a very simplistic vocabulary for whatever your reason is, that's fine. I don't need you to sound intelligent based on the words you use, but use them correctly and make them sound like they make sense and spell them right. I don't understand why it's so hard. I just don't get it. Like, why do people not care about this stuff? I hopefully I'm not the only one who feels this way. Number six, people who comment on YouTube videos just in general 
sometimes I'll leave comments on Vlogbrothers videos or Wheezy Waiter videos because I have something valuable to say or something. But people who comment just for the sake of commenting or they comment like straight to that person hoping that they'll see it and they're just like, oh my gosh, I love you. Or people that comment first. Get out of here. I have nothing to say to you. Goodbye. Happy Thanksgiving! I love you. I miss you. Bye.